Today, something impossible just happened in space. An object from outside our solar system split perfectly in half. One side vanished, and now the other is sending signals straight toward Earth. Scientists are calling it the most terrifying discovery in human history. And by the end of this video, you'll see why 3i Atlas might not just be a comet, it could be something alive. Stick around, because what happened next will blow your mind. If you're captivated by the mystery of 3i Atlas and want to see more mind-bending cosmic stories, smash that like button and let the universe know you are watching. Every click helps keep the search for the unknown alive. Comment below and let me know where are you watching this from. I want to see which corners of the world are witnessing this with me. You know, for over four decades, I've studied the laws of the universe. Gravity, quantum mechanics, the very fabric of space-time itself. I thought I had seen it all. But what happened just 11 hours ago with 3i Atlas has shaken me to my core. This object didn't explode. It didn't crumble under pressure. It split cleanly, precisely, like something designed to do so. Two halves, perfectly even. No debris field, no random scatter of fragments, just a smooth geometric separation that no natural object in space should ever be capable of. When the call came from my colleagues at NASA, I thought it was a joke. But then the data came through. Multiple observatories, Chile, Hawaii, the European Space Network, all reporting the same thing. 3i Atlas divided, and then something even more impossible happened. Half of it disappeared. Not drifted behind a planet, not blocked by the sun's glare, it simply vanished, wiped clean from every radar, telescope, and deep space scanner we have. And I need you to understand something. We can track an object the size of a basketball from thousands of miles away. We can see galaxies 13 billion years old. But now we've lost an object the size of a mountain. So ask yourself this. What kind of force or technology can erase like that from existence? What could make a massive interstellar body split with surgical precision and then turn half of itself invisible? That's not how rocks behave. That's not how comets act. That's deliberate. That's controlled. And that's what terrifies me the most. 48 hours before the split, 3i Atlas was following a predictable path. Calm, steady, nothing unusual. But then, without warning, it began to accelerate. Not by a little, by percentages that shattered every equation we know. It was gaining speed, moving faster and faster. Yet there were no visible signs of propulsion, no jets of gas, no solar wind reaction, nothing that could explain where that energy was coming from. You see, comets and asteroids behave predictably. As they move away from the sun, they slow down. But 3i Atlas did the opposite. It sped up, the data was undeniable, and the more we analyzed it, the less sense it made. My colleagues at Harvard checked for gravitational slingshots, solar influences, even hidden outgassing, all dead ends. There was no natural explanation left. And then came something stranger. 36 hours before the split, every observatory watching the object detected a signal, a pulsing pattern of energy coming from its core, not random bursts, not natural radiation. These were perfect pulses every 11 minutes, time down to the nanosecond. Now, that kind of precision doesn't happen by accident. Nature doesn't keep perfect time. Even pulsars, the most consistent objects in the universe, have slight variations. But this, this was flawless, like a machine heartbeat echoing through the void. When we realized what we were seeing, the debate began to shift. Was this a natural phenomenon we'd never encountered before? Or was it something built, something engineered? Because if those signals were intentional, if that acceleration was controlled, then 3i Atlas wasn't just visiting our solar system, it was announcing itself. 18 hours before the split, something happened that left even the most skeptical scientists speechless. 3i Atlas began to change shape. At first, it was subtle, a small distortion in the light curves, 
a faint stretching in its silhouette, but over the next two hours, the transformation became undeniable. The object shifted from a roughly spherical body to a long cylindrical form, smooth, symmetrical, and deliberate. Two hours, that's all it took for a celestial object thousands of feet across to completely reshape itself. Now, let me be clear. Nothing in the known universe behaves like that. Not rock, not ice, not metal. The laws of physics simply don't allow it. If you try to reshape something that large that quickly, the forces involved would tear it apart. But 3i Atlas didn't tear apart. It transformed. Observatories from Chile to Japan confirmed the same readings. It was as if the object was preparing for something, a maneuver, an operation, maybe even a separation sequence. I remember staring at the telemetry data, watching the structure elongate in perfect proportion, and thinking, this isn't a random event. This is a process. And then, almost like clockwork, the pulsing signal, that 11-minute energy rhythm stopped. Complete silence. No emissions. No trace of energy. It was as if the object was powering down or shifting into another phase of activity. Within hours, the shape stabilized. The data went quiet and an eerie stillness settled across every monitoring station. We didn't know it then, but that silence, that perfect calm, was the moment before everything changed. Because 11 hours later, 3i Atlas would do something no one on Earth was ready for. Then just 11 hours ago, the unthinkable happened. 3i Atlas, silent, elongated, and eerily stable, split apart, not shattered, not fragmented. It divided along a perfect seam as if following an engineered blueprint. Two halves equal in size, drifting apart in total control. We call them Object A and Object B. At first, both pieces continued on the same path, steady and traceable. But then Object B did something that defies every known law of motion. It changed direction instantly, not curved, not slowed. It veered perpendicular to its trajectory, accelerated sharply, and then it was gone. I don't mean it drifted out of range or was blocked by cosmic interference. One moment it existed on every tracking system across the planet. Optical, infrared, radio, gravitational, and the next it was simply not there. Gone, erased. NASA's deep space arrays went dark on it. The European Space Agency confirmed identical readings. Even military-grade satellites with classified detection capabilities reported the same thing. Signal lost. Target not reacquired. Now think about that. An object miles across, moving faster than any natural body ever recorded, just vanished without leaving a single trace of radiation, light, or gravity disturbance. No scattering, no afterglow, just nothing. That kind of disappearance isn't natural, it's intentional. Some of us began to whisper what no one wanted to say out loud. That object B didn't just vanish, it hid. Whether through technology that bends light, manipulates gravity, or shifts through dimensions, we were forced to consider the impossible. Because if it can hide from us that completely, then it's still out there somewhere watching. Four hours after the split, when the world's observatories were scrambling to relocate the missing half, a new anomaly appeared, not from the vanished fragment, but from the one that remained. It started as a faint whisper in the radio spectrum, a low hum that at first seemed like background noise. But when the team at Arecibo cleaned the signal, what emerged froze everyone in the control room. It wasn't random static. It was structured communication, a repeating pattern, sequences of tones that rose and fell in mathematical precision, forming ratios identical to prime numbers. The same kind of sequence humanity itself once sent into deep space on the Voyager Golden Record. Except this time, we weren't the ones sending it. For 31 minutes, the signal continued. Perfect, deliberate, and directed. Every major listening post across the globe received the same transmission, but only those aimed at 3i Atlas. Nothing else in the sky produced the pattern. And here's where it gets even stranger. The signal wasn't broadcasting outward. It was broadcasting inward 
toward the exact coordinates of where object B had vanished. Almost like a summon, the remaining half of 3I Atlas seemed to be calling out as though sending instructions or perhaps a wake-up command. Then, precisely on the final pulse, all transmissions ceased. Total silence again. But within minutes of that silence, deep space sensors picked up a faint gravitational ripple, subtle but unmistakable, coming from a point nearly two astronomical units closer to Earth. And so whatever vanished didn't just hide, it moved. And now it's heading in our direction. By the time the gravitational reading stabilized, one thing was clear. The missing half of 3I Atlas was no longer lost. It was on the move, and it was coming straight toward us. At first, the trajectory seemed harmless, a distant pass that would slip safely through the outer solar system. But as the hours passed, the calculations kept shifting. Its speed was increasing exponentially, and its course corrections were too precise to be random. Every vector change aligned perfectly with orbital mechanics, as if it were actively navigating. NASA, Harvard, and the European Space Network tried to keep it quiet. Officially, they labeled it a non-gravitational anomaly, but internally, the tone had changed. The chatter in encrypted channels was unmistakable. Someone or something was piloting it. Then came the visuals. Using adaptive optics and deep space imaging, the James Webb Telescope managed to capture a faint reflection, a surface smooth as glass, metallic, and symmetrical. No crater marks, no dust trails, no natural features. It was unlike any comet or asteroid ever documented. And then it slowed down. Let me repeat that. A body traveling millions of miles per hour decelerated smoothly, deliberately right as it entered the outer range of Jupiter's orbit. Nothing in the universe does that without propulsion, without control. But 3I Atlas did. Now, all major agencies have gone silent since then. The last official update we received was a coded transmission from the Deep Space Network, Object B, holding position. No further movement detected. Awaiting instructions. Instructions from whom? For nearly six hours, Object B, the missing half of 3I Atlas, stayed perfectly motionless near Jupiter's orbit, not a flicker of light, not a single detectable emission. Stillness was almost unnatural, like the entire solar system was holding its breath. Then, at exactly 0300 hours UTC, everything changed. Every major radio telescope on Earth, from the Atacama Array to the very large array in New Mexico, detected a massive electromagnetic surge. It wasn't random interference. It was focused, directed, and perfectly synchronized with 3I Atlas's position. The object that had been silent for hours suddenly came alive, emitting pulses across multiple frequencies, microwave, gamma, x-ray, all layered into a pattern too complex for coincidence. At first, it looked like chaos. But when the data was decoded into a spectrograph, a chilling discovery emerged. The waveform contained symmetrical patterns resembling blueprints or possibly schematics. The pulses weren't just signals. They were instructions. And what's even more haunting is where those signals were going, they weren't broadcasting outward into deep space. They were aimed inward directly toward Earth. Within minutes of the transmission, several orbiting satellites went offline. Communication, weather, even some defense systems. At first, it was dismissed as coincidence. A solar flare, maybe cosmic interference, but the timing was too precise. Each failure occurred exactly as the pulse hit Earth's upper atmosphere. It's as if Object B wasn't just sending a message, it was activating something, something already here. NASA immediately classified all data, pulling observatories offline and rerouting telescope access. But a few independent astronomers kept their feeds open long enough to capture one last terrifying detail. The half of 3I Atlas still near its original position, Object A had begun to glow, a deep, steady light pulsing beneath its surface in perfect rhythm with the signals from its twin, two halves of one entity, one sending, one receiving, 
and together they've just started to wake up. Over the last 12 hours, both halves of 3i Atlas have begun to move again, not randomly, not drifting, but with intention. Object A, the glowing half, still in its original position beyond Mars, has started a slow, deliberate rotation. Object B, stationed near Jupiter, is mirroring that motion perfectly. Every degree of spin, every shift in angle, identical. It's as if the two fragments are synchronizing, aligning for something. You know, astronomers across the world noticed a strange coincidence. When projected forward, the axes of both rotations converge, not in deep space, not near the sun, but directly along Earth's orbital path. You know, that's when the panic began. Private networks and encrypted forums lit up with leaks from within the agencies. Someone at ESA claimed the two halves were generating a shared magnetic field, a massive electromagnetic structure linking them together. Another leak suggested the energy signature looked eerily similar to those seen in early particle acceleration experiments, but on a planetary scale. In other words, the two fragments of 3i Atlas aren't just aligning, they're forming a system. And then something even stranger occurred. At exactly the same time, the alignment began. Earth's magnetic field registered subtle fluctuations. Small but measurable, compass readings wavered, GPS accuracy dipped. Even migratory birds reportedly changed direction mid-flight. All across the globe, the invisible balance of our planet seemed to tremble for just a moment. It was as though something vast and distant had brushed against the edge of our world's energy, a ripple through the invisible ocean of space. Now, with the alignment still tightening, one question echoes through every lab, every observatory, every sleepless office in NASA and beyond. You know what happens when the two halves finally connect? Don't stop here. The universe is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Click on the next video and join us as we explore even more astonishing mysteries from the farthest reaches of space.